Hello, my name's Nicola Cornick and I'm going to be reading a short extract from my new book, House of Shadows. In the scene I've chosen, my heroine Elizabeth, the Winter Queen, has been spying on a secret ceremony and has just been captured. Someone caught her from behind, his hand over her mouth, one arm about her waist, pulling her out of the room, swinging the door shut behind them. It was sudden and shocking. No one touched the Queen, least of all manhandled her. Instinct took over, instincts she did not know she possessed. She bit down hard, tasting the tang of leather against her tongue, and he released her at once, though the bite could not have hurt, and nor could her feeble attempts to lash out with boots or elbows. Hellcat! His voice was deep and he sounded amused, as though her puny efforts were pitiful. She was the one who was angry, and she allowed herself to indulge in it. You fool! She spun around to face him. She was shaking, ruffled, more than she ought to have been. Don't you know who I am? She saw his eyes widen, hazel eyes which held more than a hint of laughter. In the flaring torchlight, she could see he was of no more than average height, which still made him several inches taller than she. He looked strong, though, and durable. His hair was a rich chestnut, curling over the white lace of his collar. His nose was straight. There was a cleft in his chin. And even in this moment of stupefaction, even as he recognised her, there was still amusement in his face, rather than the deference that he should have been showing. Your Majesty, he bowed. She waited, haughty. His lips twitched. Forgive me, he said smoothly after a moment. Nothing more, and it did not sound like a request, still less like an apology. Heat and sudden tiredness hit her again, making her sway. Perhaps her ladies had been right, damn them. She was six months pregnant and should have been resting. The expression in his eyes changed from amusement to concern. He took her hand, drawing her forwards. Come into the guard room. No, she hung back. I don't want anyone to see me. There is no one here but me. She allowed him to usher her through the door into the small chamber. It was spartan with a bare floor and one candle on a battered table. A meagre fire glowed in the grate. It was no place for a queen. You're guarding the ceremony alone, she asked. I am. He looked rueful, badly, it would seem. She smiled at that. You could not have anticipated this. That the Queen herself would choose to come and watch. He shrugged, half turning aside to pour her a cup of water from the carafe on the table. I suppose not. I am a member of the Fellowship of the Rosy Cross, Elizabeth said. I have every right to be here. His hand stilled. He turned back dark brows raised. Then why not exercise that right openly? Why creep in like a thief? Few things surprised Elizabeth these days. Few people challenged her. It was one of the privileges of royal blood. It was to be unquestioned, never explain, never complain. This man, though, evidently thought that a commoner might question a queen. All the same, she chose to ignore this. Tasting the water he passed her instead, which was warm and brackish, but not altogether unpleasant. I don't believe I know you, she said. He bowed again. William Craven, entirely at your service.